is Barry Rukoro, the Secretary General of the Namibian Football Association, also known as the NFA. Barry, good evening. Welcome to One on One. Thank you. Good evening, and thanks for having me here. Okay. I, I think let's get right into it, and obviously let's deal with uh, the NFA, its mandate, and, and, and the people that are supposed to be you know, driving this mandate. Yeah, in terms of the leadership at the NFA currently right now, is there a crisis uh, in terms of conflicts and different camps uh, that could undermine this mandate of the NFA uh, between, for example, you as the Secretary General uh, and the incumbent President, uh, Mr. Franz Mbidi? Can you give us what's happening? No, I think uh, uh, the, the NFA has uh, really uh, reached a position over the last few years where we can say that the association has uh, reached stability in terms of its leadership. Uh, we elect our leaders every four years at, uh, un, uh, at a congress, at an elective congress, uh, which is, uh, uh, you know, as directed by the constitution of our uh, mm -hmm. association. Um, of course, in every house, in every institution, there are different opinions, there are different views of the same thing, and uh, most of the time it is for the benefit of the growth of the institution which I think it's, is the case now in the NFA. Uh, this, for me, is just growing pains. But, but that's interesting that you say that it's almost like you know, an everyday situation. I don't think a lot of the public think that. I mean, you were suspended uh, at, then at, the, at the extraordinary meeting, then you were reinstated. These are obvious signs of division in leadership. No, I think it's, it's, it's uh, uh, I mean, uh, I respect opinions of other people about uh, this kind of situation, but I've grown up in, 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 in this institution, and I know uh, where we are coming from. And uh, comparing this to where we are coming from is, this is nothing. This is, this is just a part of uh, growing so as an institution so, so and maturing. So being uh, incited for cross insubordination, uh, mm. that is a serious accusation. Yes, uh, 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 but uh, I'm, I'm always the, uh, uh, the kind of person who takes the positive out of every situation. And, and for me, this was another opportunity to be justified. Ten days out of office, uh, give people space and, and time to, to look at uh, uh, different uh, operations of the association and uh, be told that you have done nothing wrong, come back and continue with your work. That, but to, but me, but but that to me was the, 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 the biggest statement. But, but, but was there any merit uh, in these claims that the president was making against you? Um, uh, of course, uh, that is a question uh, that the president answered to the executive committee, mm -hmm. uh, which he said, uh, uh, of course, uh, there was no case made in the executive uh, committee meeting, and therefore I'm back. And uh, it doesn't help me to continue thinking about what happened during those 10 days. But, but obviously, after these 10 days, uh, you're back. What then is then the culture within the leadership? Uh, obviously, trust is an important element. Respect is an important element in, 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 in building effective institutions. So yes, you're saying mm -hmm. that the NFA is functioning on the one hand, but I'm arguing that this division in leadership is going to impact the effectiveness of the NFA. You may think so, but I think uh, the institution has uh, in-house uh, grown leadership. Uh, people who have grown up in this game and uh, we have very strong characters in, in, in the leadership of football. Um, of course, uh, uh, not everybody is perfect. Um, not everybody can forget and forgive. Forgive and forget and move on. Uh, some of us have that ability. Uh, but I think uh, uh, we are in a good space now. Uh, in, uh, in, in a good space in the sense that uh, 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 we came out stronger, we learned through our mistakes, and uh, uh, the, the positive is that uh, it will, f you know, going forward benefit the growth of the association. Is it positive because uh, it really sends a strong message in the football fraternity that Barry Rikoro is untouchable? No, uh, nobody is untouchable. Uh, Barry Rukor, it is, it is, it is, uh, it is uh, a good uh, space to be in because uh, Barry Rukoro has survived 10 days. I have came back, uh, I had a, a time to look uh, at myself, at the organization from the outside, uh, maybe now with a different eye, and now I'm maybe well equipped to move the organization forward. 
and uh, you'd say that uh, it's not an, an understanding that now power actually lies uh, within the Secretary General rather than the President. Do you think this, this the act of the Executive Committee undermined or constrained the executive power of the President and says actually uh, the SG has more power in this institution? No, 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 no. Uh, I, I don't think it, 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 it can be interpreted in that way. Because, uh, you know, I've always uh, said that I don't need uh, a, a particular role to lead. It's uh, an, something that comes naturally to me. Uh, but of course, uh, I've also learned, you know, I've served uh, very good presidents uh, in the past, people that I have learned for tremendously uh, a lot. You know, the judge president, uh, Petrus Damasep, a man, the knowledge that I got through working for him and under him, uh, I could not have gotten it from any institution of high learning. Uh, John Muno, you know, in terms of stability and direction and so on. Uh, and now I'm serving under Franz Bidi, who's the new president of the NFA. Mm. And I'm, I have learned to serve and serve well. Mm. So there will be no conflict of, uh, uh, you know, misunderstanding of who is boss. I, 